The perception of time illustrates our illusion of reality. We have placed such a strong emphasis on what has happened and what hasn't happened. Back when I was a little girl, I would stare at the clock with my eyes focused on the minute hand and begin to count. One, two, three. As I watched the clock continue to tick, I lost track of how long I stood there. Because during that instance, that one minute did not seem to want to end. I didn't believe the saying that time flies as you grow older. Now it's like I clicked the fast forward button on a TV remote and my life is flashing right before my eyes. I would rather tune into what Tiffany is doing, or Laura, even Tony. They have it all together, with everything in control, along with their countless accomplishments. And the worst of all, they're happy. I feel like they don't have to try as hard, and they're able to succeed at what they're doing. As an outlaw of this friend group, what am I even good at? Other than always half-assing the goals I put down for myself? I have let my worries of the future distance myself from being in the moment. Over time, I fell into a pattern of sleepless nights. My body would feel weak and tired, but my restless mind would always win over my urge to sleep. Eventually, I found a remedy that would keep me company as I would try my best to calm the thoughts that constantly race in my head. Welcome back to FM226, a safe space for those who would like to take a little breather and let go of all the stressors that you had today. Tonight, I will tell you guys a story that is very close to my heart, and it is for those who are feeling a bit hopeless right now. I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days. Before you've actually left them. This is a quote from The Office. Many of you might not know of it now, but it reminds us to treasure being in the present while reminiscing the past. When I was younger, I was a kid with a soul that never grew. Times were simpler then. I enjoyed imagining different ways that I could express the passions that I had. But these passions were always temporary. I pushed myself to try as hard as I could, but once I looked around me, there were people who easily succeeded at things that I needed to put the extra mile in. I felt defeated. I envied them, the people I would call my friends, and instead of treasuring my moments with them, I chose to throw blame to those around me for how I felt and the way I was living. It was like a war zone, the doubts and negative emotions I had never failed to invade the one good thought passing through my mind that would make me believe in myself again. I boxed myself in a stagnant routine and remained idle as days quickly passed by. Time flies, but that's only because you allow it to. I realized that I placed so much value on time and on what others were doing. I didn't live for myself. I lived for finding the right time to prove to others that I can do it. 
But there never is a right time to make a move. So, rather than being contained within the four walls of my own room, I chose to walk out my door and explore. It gave me a sense of relief from the thoughts that bombarded my mind. It's not worth remaining passive with goals you set for yourself and allowing the fire in you to be put out just because you feel like time is slipping away. I realized that those very moments that I chose to take action is why I'm sitting here talking to you right now. The ability to have a dream so big is already so admirable. I look back to my old self, holding onto so many passions, yet none of them were right for me. Everyone ends up going at their own pace. Making that first step out the door will feel so great. You'll be able to pass another checkpoint to continue moving forward. Remember, fear is only a pit stop on your timeline. The regret you may have will stay forever. When I started to run faster than I ever did before, I felt that I existed along with time instead of working against it. The next chapter is waiting for you to unfold. So hopefully, telling my own story will help you create and continue to unfold your own.